everybody. I'm going to give you my story of what I just did today. I am on my way back from Mexico where I got a couple implants. First, let me go back and tell you the beginning of the story. Um, when I was a little kid, I got hit in the mouth with, with a couple of rocks. Hit me right here. And then years later, those teeth started dying. I had to get root canals in them and, and uh, then they started dripping blood into my teeth which were turning them brown and then I just I went and got veneers put on my teeth the root canals cost me about five hundred dollars a piece probably thousand dollars at least and then those veneers cost me another three thousand dollars and um, I noticed the front teeth on the back side there was like a couple pinholes in them which I never paid any attention to really but I did feel them and recently Couple months ago, I bit down on a frozen raisin, chocolate covered raisin, and I felt my tooth snap and it had cracked my tooth all the way around at the, at the gum line. So I went into the dentist. I went into several dentists actually. One of them, um, they were telling me it was going to be like $2,400 just to open it up see what was going on in there and I might need an implant that was going to be another $500 or $5,000 a tooth and I was while I was walking out the um, receptionist said oh yeah we need you need to go get an MRI here's our friend down the road and he has a $99 special for us for our clients that just kind of rubbed me wrong and I don't do implants that's not me so I don't want to be exposed to all that radiation so I had a friend who has a dentist office her cousin has a dentist office so I went in there they opened up my teeth, my front teeth, or one of them, and said that those pinholes had opened, left my tooth on the inside open to decay. And because they had root canals, I couldn't even feel what was going on. I had no pain at all, but underneath those veneers, the decay had rotted my whole teeth away. There was nothing left. And they said I was lucky I came in when I did because I only had... I had less than a year left on the other one snapping and breaking anyways. So, once it got to open, they said, there's no way you can have anything done but implants. And he quoted me from a different office about $2,300, $2,400 per tooth out of pocket cost. And with my insurance, $2,000, it was going to cost me about five grand to have those two teeth done. So... That same friend whose cousin owned that office said that she had gone down to Mexico and her cousin and they had dental work done and her cousin had a whole mouthful of implants done for four thousand dollars and I'm like oh my gosh that's the way to go so I started researching uh, Mexico dentist cost and I found most of them were sixteen to eighteen hundred dollars per tooth so I thought that's definitely more doable. So I picked out one of the dentists that were listed in Los Algodones, Mexico, which is just on the border of Yuma, Arizona, and California. And I made an appointment through email, and they, I sent them my x-rays and everything like that. And I drove down here yesterday, and I got a hotel room, got up this morning, and the parking, I went all the way to the border, which is really easy to find, and I didn't have anybody with me. They told me to bring somebody, but I, my son was going to come with me, and his dog is about to die, so he wasn't going to leave him, and I'm like, you know, I'll deal with it. I'll be fine. And here I am driving. I'm okay. So, I went into the office, or I got, actually, um, the parking lot was closed to get into the border, so you had to go park two miles down the road and walk. So if you can't walk, if you're going to go down there, you can't walk, definitely bring an umbrella because it was pretty warm or maybe even there's a place I think you can sit down and take a cab if you need to, but just get some good walking shoes. Okay, so once I got across the border, I started walking to, there's no addresses really, they just had a map that they gave me, but it was super easy to find. I walked on the sidewalks, um, all the storefronts had little canopies over and they were selling all kinds of stuff and there was... In, um, dentist office and eyeglass places everywhere and little pharmacies where they sell prescriptions and little shops selling clothing and handbags things like that everywhere so I made it to my dentist office 
everybody kept asking me, what are you looking for? What are you looking for? And I told them I had already had an appointment. And there was one lady who stopped me at the gate and said that, uh, asked me what I was having done. And she says, we can beat that price. So I probably didn't even need an appointment. And if I would have shopped around, I might have gotten a better price. I probably could have, but I stuck to my appointment and went into the office and I was very nervous. My heart was pounding when I was in the seat thinking about how they were going to be drilling into my skull here. But um, he numbed me up, gave me two shots over here, and those were like right in the nerve line or something, and it just quickly spread. Then he gave me two more shots over here, which it didn't even really hurt, but I did feel it a little bit. And those numbed me up pretty quick, and then he said he gave me two shots in the roof of my mouth. He said those were going to hurt. I didn't even feel them. The, the Novocaine worked pretty fast. He said, your whole upper lip, all the way up to your nose, is going to be numb, which it was, and it's not quite that much anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling everything, and it's, it's um, around 1.30 right now, and I got this done probably about 9 a.m., between 9 and 10. It really didn't take that long. They said it's going to be maybe four to five hour appointment, but I don't even think it was two hours. So, anyways, he numbed me up, and then he took... Um, the other dentist had done a temporary bridge and he separated the bridge right here and then he pulled those two front teeth out. That's very scary to think about so I was trying not to think about it. And once he got those out, I mean I made him work for it. Let me tell you, it wasn't easy getting them. You could feel it cracking and whatnot. So I kind of wanted to have my earplugs in but I thought what if he needs to talk to me? Which he does a little bit. But I, they also spoke in Spanish, which was kind of a good thing because I didn't know what he was really saying unless he was specifically talking to me. I was kind of glad for that. So I just concentrated on the music. And before I knew it, he was done. And they they had made impressions on my teeth. And they made me a temporary partial right here. And I go back in six months. They did do bone grafting, and they stitched it all up. Bone grafting helps your regrow bone around that um, implant. Now I you might want to, I forgot I was going to do this ahead of time. I was going to try and find somebody that did the porcelain or the crystal implants and try and not have titanium or any metal in my mouth but I didn't plan ahead and I forgot about it so that's done and over with. I can't have it now so I didn't plan ahead. Anyways my out of pocket cost today I go back in six months for my permanent front teeth implants and my out of pocket cost today because I did I did pay with my debit card. I was afraid to take cash in with me since I was alone. I had never been there, didn't know what to expect. But I was totally safe. I could have definitely brought cash on me was fine. Saved that eighty seven dollars but you know it is what it is. So it cost me twenty one eighty seven that eighty seven dollars was for the debit card and I go back in January, which is six months from now, and that's going to cost me another $900 for those two teeth implants right there. And this partial, it's going to take me some time to get used to. It's kind of a, I can feel a plate in the back. It's going to hinder me a little bit, but wearing a mask now at work, people, this is probably a good time to have this done because people aren't going to see my mouth. It's going to take me some little get, getting used to. But if you are getting your whole mouth done, shop around. I don't know how much this guy would have charged me, but obviously our friend had done all of them done for $4,000. i am plan on having a liquid diet for that six months for your mouth to heal. Four to six months, actually, they told me. Because you won't be able to get a partial if you have no teeth to hook onto. You are just going to have to deal with no teeth. Which, like I said again, is a good time for that to be wearing a mask. So, all in all, I... You, can drive over the border but getting out they said it was like a one to two hour wait it was a long line so I opted just to walk back and it was quite the hike getting back but I you know it's right I walk 12,000 steps a day it was good and I'm I'm almost home I'm 50 miles away and it's I think one less than about 1 30 in the afternoon so I definitely re would recommend doing this to anybody who needs dental work. They do all kinds of dental work. The only thing I didn't see was veneers, but after this, I don't re really recommend it to anybody anyways. 
but if you definitely need um, implants, crowns, um, dentures, or any kind of um, partials, this is definitely the way to go. It's definitely worth the trip. The gas, when I gassed up in Yuma, most of it was 20 cents a gallon less than what I was paying um, in Phoenix. And I did find one place that I gassed up at, at an Arco that was $1.87 a gallon. So there's definitely good deals. And the hotels, there was tons of hotels. I booked, made a reservation on Hotels.com which I didn't need to do because I ended up having to change it to one person instead of two person and ended up canceling it because I was locked into that rate. So I just canceled it and, and paid the rate. I think I paid 67 at the Ho Howard Johnson's hotel. They have cheaper places and more definitely more expensive places, but it was, it was decent. I would definitely bring my own pillow next time. But other than that, I would highly recommend doing this to anybody else. So this is Las Algodonas, Mexico, just outside of Yuma in California. The whole town is nothing but medical, dental offices, eye exam offices, and the eye exam for my son was going to be free, and I just had to pay for the glasses. There's pharmacies everywhere and shopping. The pharmacy, they gave me a prescription of four different medications. Um, they gave uh, antibiotics, which I don't take, so I did not fill that one. One for inflammation, which I don't even know if I'll take that one because I take plenty of others. Oh my god, a bad drug. And, um, holy cow. Um, pain pills, sublingual pain pills. I've already taken one and I'm, I'm okay. I'm not feeling I mean, tender on my gums, but I'm not in pain, a lot, of, a lot of pain. And then I was able to also get some pain medication for my son's dog who was on his last 24 hours with cancer and a lot of pain. So I'm really happy. It was like $65 for 65, 68 dollars, 68 pills, I mean. So I'm in a hurry to get him home, get those home to him, so he's not suffering in pain. But that is also an option. So anyways, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.